Good afternoon, I'm so sorry about the problems. Uh, we are here in the press conference for Jamaica national team. In the table you see the head coach, Herman Hedginson, and the player, Kevon Lambert. So we are uh, officially open the questions. Remember that it's one question per person, and we have translation Spanish to English. So the first part. Raise your hand if you want to quit the question. Hi, Heimer, Archbell, CONCACAF.com. Uh, so, so many people talk about your attacking line, your forward line, uh, with all those great players, but um, your midfield has been really impressive in this tournament with Kevin and, and some of the other guys leading the, the way in midfield. Can you speak a little bit about the strength of that midfield in particular, the physicality, winning those aerial duels, recovering balls, things like that? How, how have you seen your midfield perform and grow in this Gold Cup? Yeah, you, you, you're correct. We are looking for a total balance in the team. It's not about our attackers. It's not about our midfielders. We just li like to improve our total balance uh, as a team, so both defending and attacking. And um, yeah, we, we've mentioned uh, Kevin before on, on press conferences. I like players that are given an opportunity maybe unexpectedly and they grab the chance and they, they earn their place in the team and that is what, what you would like to see as a coach when you give someone an opportunity to stake a claim in, in the starting 11 and play that good that there is kind of no doubt in the coach's mind that he deserves to play again. So I, I, I like when that happens and all coaches like when that happens. But but for me, it's, it's about balance. It's not about going forward and then somebody needs to be defending because these guys are attacking. It's, it's about total balance. And, and he gives, yeah, he links the attack with the defense really well and has done that. So if we are discussing this guy on my left. But in, in general, we, we, we are improving as a team and that's the most important. So we are attacking better as a team, we are defending better as a team and that is the ultimate goal of course. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. Juancho Villaverde, ESPN, out here. Uh, one for Mr. Helgrimson, uh, coach, what aspects of the game of the Guatemalan team worried you more? And for Kevon, you guys are reaching for your fourth semifinal in five tournaments. What does it mean for Jamaica, the Gold Cup? You want to start? Sure. Um, for us, it means everything. We're representing a country, representing a lot of people, kids that look up to us. Um, so for us, it means everything. Um, we're trying to, we're in a tournament, a major tournament, and we, we always try to do our best. We've always done our best. We always aim to go to the final, try to win the trophies. So no matter what we're, what tournament or games we're playing, we always try to do our best. And we're going to this stage again, uh, like you said, um, it means everything to us. So going into this game, we're just going to do our best as usual. and. We'll see. Yeah, re regarding Guatemala, of course, we have been <coughs> as uh, impressed with Guatemala as, as everyone else that I've seen their, their games. Um, just to put it into a context, they, they top a group with, uh, with Canada in the group, plus, um, I'm mixing always uh, names, uh, Guad Guadalupe, uh, as a really a good team and a surprisingly good team. So uh, a, a lot of credit to them and their coach. They've, they've done really well. They're, for us, the, the, the things we are looking at is the transition game. So they are really quick from defense to attack. They are really direct when they have the ball. So quick players, uh, technical players um, w with, yeah, it's, it's kind of the, the directness, directness that, um, opponents should, should look for when they play against Guatemala. Uh, the tempo in their game, and it's a lot of character in this team. 
And that is something that, that you look at uh, both on the pitch, but also off the pitch. So the people of Guatemala are supporting them really, really with, uh, with their heart. So that is something that we, we respect and we are ready to, to face when we meet them. So these are kind of, the, I would say, their biggest strength is their directness, their tempo, uh, and their character. Robert Williams, IRFM Jamaica. Coach, you would have utilized the services of all your players up to this point in the tournament. Does it make it easier now for you to select an 11 for the quarterfinal tomorrow, or does it make it easier for you? And the second question, uh, there was some bad weather today. How much that, did that impact your plan for your final training session ahead of tomorrow's encounter? Yeah, about, about uh, already have played all the players and given everyone a chance to show. Both we had a, a pre-camp before, so, so it's, it's good to be able to give players a chance at least to, to play in a big tournament like this. It's always a, a, a good experience, especially for young players. To get minutes in a tournament like this is good for, the, for their future. Um, yeah, and, and like I talked about, Kevin, players come and they either take their chance or not. Uh, and, and this is just part of the game, but it's good to have answers. It's always good to have answers as a coach. So we will have for certain situation, a, a player in mind that can change this, this circumstances to our benefit. So if we need to defend more or if we need to attack more, we always have in our mind um, a solution to that. Whether today was, was uh, on training, it thunder and, and, and lightning and, and some rain. Some, but we did the best we could. We did the best we could. We enjoyed. There was a lot of laughing um, on the session. Maybe not the most tactical training we have done this far, but, but at least players got a, got a run out and, and uh, had some fun. So, yeah, in that, that sense, a good master minus one preparation. Hi, head coach Kevin, uh, Hugo Ramirez from Univision. One question for each. For you, coach, uh, you have been on top of Iceland uh, national football team. What's the difference uh, be on the terms of the level of play of CONCACAF versus UEFA? What can you say about uh, those type of tournaments that are important? And for Kevin, uh, I talked yesterday with, with John Herdman, the head coach, and uh, he uh, inquired me or he uh, uh, shared with me the uh, stat statistic that right now Jamaica, with all the players that you have in, uh, in Europe, uh, you're the most valuable uh, uh, team right now in, in terms of money. Uh, what can you say? Are you favorites? Do you think you can be uh, maybe said like, like favorites? Uh, United States has a team B, Canada as well. Would you say Mexico is, has a level of uncertainty, maybe? Do you think Jamaica today could be the, the favorite to win the, the Gold Cup? Um, to be honest, when we just started the, the tournament, nobody was actually looking at us as like being the favorites or anything like that. Because we know the type of players that we have. We know the quality that's in this team. And when we started, a lot of people didn't really believe in us. And like, until they saw us play like our first two or three games, and then they actually started to shine some some light on us. So I th I don't think I wouldn't say that we we're favorites, but um, at this point we're in the quarterfinals with other teams, so all these teams, we, we all deserve to be here. And um, I wouldn't say that we're favorites, but we do have a strong team and we have, we believe that we can go all the way. So, but I wouldn't say we're favorites or anything like that. You have already answered the, the question to compare uh, like the Euro finals to, to CONCACAF. I think it, it's a little difference. Uh, and I would say that, that what, we are, what we are feeling is that is, 
is difference between what CONCACAF is providing to some teams but not others. So I would that, that would never happen in a European final. So, but we just take what what is thrown at us and try to do the best of, uh, out of it. So, but yeah, it's it's a few things, of course, lo lo uh, logistical things that needs to step up here if you're going to host a World Cup in in three years. Okay, we open the big draw. Uh, the conference, so Kare James, you can make your question. Wait, 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 wait. Can we oh. can we hear the volume? Have the volume higher? Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, trying to. to. Okay. Ah, now you're good. Go. Cool. Uh, like you said, the partnership that I have with Joel thus far, it's, it's fairly new. We started playing together uh, just a couple of weeks. I've only known him for a couple of weeks. He's known, only known me for a couple of weeks. And um, I, I'm enjoying it. I love playing with Joel. Um, he's a really good player. Um, but we still have a long way to go. There are a lot of things that we can work on. There is a we can always grow, we can always improve. So, but for the most part right now, I'm definitely enjoying it and I look forward to play with him uh, in the future and have some more fun and win games and just keep it going. Okay, Rachid Parchman, you can make your question. Good afternoon, Coach. Yeah, we were always trying to improve the, the, the cooperation and partnership be between players um, and the understanding of how we want to play as a team, and as a unit. So um, I think it is not particularly for this match. We, we just know the danger is, is, is in the transition moments against Guatemala. So we need to emphasize some, some ele elements of the game or some some parts of the game, for, for example, our balance is, is very important against a team like Guatemala. So uh, if we talk again on the, on the midfield partnership, one needs always to be in balance if we lose possession of the ball, etc. So is this understanding that will develop as we play more matches, as we learn on each other, etc., uh, etc. Et so, so it's a few things that we work on, uh, how how we attack is a part of how we defend as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a continuous thing. It's nothing new or, or special we will do tactically against Guatemala, but it's a few emphasis that we, we put on how we play. Jordan James, you can make your question. Uh, so far, yeah, like you said, it's been strong. The team chemistry has been strong because we we look at ourselves as like brothers and off the field, we stay together, we stick together and we try to do stuff like not just on the field. We can't just show up on the field and expect to play good and know each other. So off the field, we try to learn about each other. We try to grow as a family. So stuff like that, we used to build our, build our chemistry and 
I think it helps when we actually go on the field and, and play. So, yeah, so far our, our team chemistry has been good and we're enjoying it. We're enjoying the family that we have right here. Daniel Weller, you can make your question. Good afternoon, coach. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Kevin. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, got me, got the unmute for, for a second there. Um, coach, this question is for you. How important um, is it for you to, for Jamaica to start on the right intensity levels against Guatemala? You mentioned in the St. Kitts game that you wanted to make sure that you step up that intensity in the second half. How important it is to make sure that you have the right intensity and mindset going into um, a Guatemala team. Um, that can cause you problems. Yeah, it's hugely important because if we wake up too late, the game can be taken away from us and, and Guatemala will punish us if we are not ready from, from first minute. So we are aware of that and, and uh, I know the players are aware of that. We've seen a lot of videos uh, how they have scored against their opponents in this group and before. So if we are not ready from minute one, we, we can be in a lot of problems. So I'm pretty sure that, that our players will be ready when, when the referee whistles the game on tomorrow. Narendra Brown, you can make your question. Great, thank you. Um, one question in each of the Kevon and one for both Kevon. First, Jamaica has a stellar record against um, Guatemala, uh, especially in the group. How important are previous records to you in a major tournament? And for the coach, please talk us through your experience so far in this, your first major tournament with the Reggae Boys. Uh, records for us is like, it's like history. So we can look back at it and say that we, had, we, we have a good record against them in the past and stuff like that, but none of it matters on, on, on the day of the game if we don't go out there and do the job if we don't go out there and put the work in. So, I mean, it's good to look at like past stats or past um, records history, but for me, like, it doesn't matter if we don't go, go out there and get the job done on the day. So that's our plan. We're not really focused on the, the past. We're just focused on what's, ha what's ahead of us and going into the, this game, we're just focused and we just want to get the job done. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to focus my my experience this far, just to the to the players and to the squad uh, and the group we have here, and that has been really excellent. Uh, there have been there has been moments where we could have been negative, focused on the negative things, but is a really a good uh, cohesive squad. In let's let's just do our best uh, from every situation we have and talked before about uh, the chemistry in, in the squad and I think that is the what can be the difference for Jamaica in this tournament is now that the players see how much they can do if they stick together, focus on the things that matter and that is a, a pleasing experience for every member of the, the administrative staff, if it's the coaching staff or those who, who, who are from the federation to see that the, the, the players are a united group and when you have a group like this you, you can do amazing things. So that is, that is a really a good experience if I focus on that part. Okay, thank you so much. That's finished for the press conference.